Hello fam, are you looking forward to own your own car or you have been looking for a car on the internet or you want to order a car and it has been a burden, the time is here for you to own your car without stress. GY Trading Company is here to help you get your dream car right to your doorstep. Relax and take a look at some of their cars and when you are done, I'll give you their contacts. Eight one nine zero five six four seven seven four zero nine. Contact them now, and your car will be at your doorstep. Hello, guys, welcome to the record center. Here, we are going to do this quick video, very quick video to um, figure out how to test ripping ignition coil. So, Stay tuned and don't watch chain the watch the dial. To test tripping ignition coil, you have to make sure all your terminals are connected to I mean your voltmeter. So we have voltage here, which is the ohms position. This means this terminal is positive, and then we have cone here, which is negative terminal. So let me test my multimeter. I have to switch it to the resistant mode and tell them. So, quick one. Before you do that, make sure you turn your multimeter to the what 200 milligrams before you can get the voltage and what the resistance or ohms. But there are two ways to test an ignition coil with three things. One way is to use a multimeter. One way is to use a multimeter to test the resistance between the two outer pins. These are the two outer pins. We have negative here, we have positive here, and the middle one is a trigger wire. So we have massive supply and the negative what lesser supply. So this is it. The resistance should be within the range specified in the manufacturer manual. If it is not, then the coil is most likely defective. That is all. That means if it is effective, then you should be replace it. That is all. So I have turned it to 200 watt milliamps, and we are going to test this square and see the voltage. We are going to also test this square and see the voltage. But take note about this: every square has its own watt capacity. This is a three watt cylinder engine. So imagine. You can't compare three cylinder engine to basis of V8 engine, neither six cylinder or four cylinder. So the voltage that will give you will be different from the voltage that basis of V8 voltage will give you. But we are going to use the same procedure. And I will say this again and again. Once there is a continuity in the coil, it will give you zero one point something or zero two point something once it starts zero that means there is a continuity and that shows you the coil is effective is good if it doesn't give you what that zero point zero zero point something or and give you zero zero point what line that means there is no resistance but there is a voltage so we are going to check the voltage and check the resistance Take note about that. Let's check this square, then we continue. So, what you do is to insert what the negative terminal to the trigger wire, which is the middle thing, then insert it with the positive. So, you can see 0, 1.1, that means there is a continuity. Uh -huh. Continuity. So, we are going to check the voltage. Okay. The middle wire will remain there. So the only thing you do is to check the voltage. You see the voltage 0, 0 0.9. This is the voltage. That means the coil is working. And we are going to check this at the same procedure. The battery terminal, which is the trigger wire, will remain there. And then the, the what? 
positive wire will also be there you can see 0, 0 0.9 no continuity is too much the coil is very weak so let's check the voltage the voltage is 0, 0 0.9 so there's what no continuity no continuity if it start giving you 0 1.1 or 2 there is a continuity 0 2 point something 1 or 3 is a continuity 0 4 points are but if it's giving you 0, 0 0.9 that means there is no continuity that is it there is no continuity at all there is no continuity and this square is 40 you see there is no continuity this car is this square is 40 and we have to replace it that is how it works and that is how we test it so make sure you follow the steps as i show you and i'm saying this again you cannot use every square to i mean determine the amount of what voltage the amount of what um, ohms or resistance but you can use the same procedure to i mean determine it and i'm saying it every ohms or resistance continuity start from zero one or zero two or zero three that means there is a continuity which is shown here but it's giving you zero zero point something that means there is no continuity that is the voltage and when there is no continuity there is no way the coil will going to work and that is it we have different ways to test the ignition coil and i'm going to take my time to do a big single video for you guys just put your comment in the comment section then let's get the game started until i meet you next time subscribe share comment like and stay updated bye bye see you then